Who wants to know? That'll be three dollars. That's pretty pricey for a few pairs of petty pants. I'm sorry, Trudy Pinkleton, but there were some extra charges. Some of your personal stains required pounding on a rope. Bring home! Four o'clock, I guess I don't need to ask who got detention again. Tracy turned back, mind your manners, and say hello to our guests. Hello, Mrs. Pinkleton. And you, Penny. Teenagers, they just love watching that corny Collins. Delinquent, it ain't right dancing to that colored music. Don't be silly, it ain't covered. The TP's black and white. Wish like the kids who like to be the way. And once a month we have our Negro Day. And I come in. Vote for me from you is a vote for me. Whoa! 
what an unexpected ad-lib, Amber. And speaking of expecting the unexpected, our very own fun-loving freewheel and Brenda will be taking a short leave from the show. How long are you going to be gone, Brenda? Nine months. So it seems we're in need of a Gordon Collins Cal 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 girl who's just as fun-loving, but maybe not quite as freewheeling. Want to be one of the nicest kids in town? Come to school tomorrow and come on down to the station WCCT to audition. Oh my god, it's a dream of a lifetime! I have to audition! Oh my god, it's a dream of a lifetime! I have to go watch you audition! That is enough of that for one day. No one is auditioning for anything. There'll be no cutting school in this house. But Mrs. Turnblad... Penny, go tell your mother she wants you. She does? Then I better hurry. Bye, Mrs. Turnblad! Bye, Tracy! Wow! <laughs> Hiya, ladies. Since I got my new shipment of exploding bubblegum, business downstairs is booming. How am I too funny, honey? Oh, oh, stop, Wilby. You're the funny one. Daddy, tomorrow I'm auditioning to dance on TV. You're going to have to go further than that to get around me, young lady. No one is auditioning for anything. And what did I tell you about that hair? All ratted up like a teenage Jezebel. Mother, you are so 50s. Even our First Lady Jackie B. Kennedy rats her hair. Well, you ain't no First Lady, are you? She's a hair hopper, that's what she is. And it got her put in detention again. Wilbur, talk to her. Girls like Tracy, people like us. You know what I'm saying? They don't put people like us on television, except to be laughed at. Tracy, this TV thing, you really want it? It's my dream, Daddy. Then they go for it! This is America, babe! You gotta think big to be big. Being big is not the problem, Wilbur. <laughs> when I was your age, my parents begged me to run away with the circus. But I said no. That's what you want. And I got dreams of my own. I jumped at opening up a chain of joke shops worldwide. So okay, I still only got the one, but someday, if I can keep the air from leaking out of a sofa-sized whoopee cushion, oh, I'm gonna make noise around the world. <laughs> Follow your dreams, baby. As for me, I'm grabbing an orange crush and headed back to Potty Hot Hut. I got my dreams, and I got it. You're not helping, Wilbur. Tracy, come back up here. I've got hampers of laundry and my diet bill's wearing off. But Mama, I want to be famous. You want to be famous? Learn how to get blood out of car upholstery. Now that's a skill you can take right to the bank. You think I wanted to wash and iron other people's clothing for the rest of my life? No, I wanted to design it. I thought I would be the biggest thing in Brazil's. <laughs> well, you better be careful what you wish for. I'll start folding. But all I was doing was watching Courtney Collins over at Tracy's. Didn't I forbid you from listening to that race music? Oh, if the police ever locate your father, he'll punish you good. Your dancing was atrocious today, Amber. I'm willing to lie, cheat, and steal to win you that Miss Hairspray Brown, but you've got to work with me. Now let me out that zit. Stop! That is no way to treat clean clothing. One day you'll own Edna's Occidental Laundry. Will you be ready? I hope not. Don't contradict me. Don't disobey me. Don't even think about going to that audition. Please! No! no. Mother! Stop. Stop telling me what to do. No. Don't treat me like a child up to you. No. I know that you want what's best. Please. But mother, please give it a rest. Stop. Don't. No. 
cheese the last candidate. That's all? <laughs> Who knew Baltimore girls were all such scabs? My, this town sure has gone downhill since I was crowned this Baltimore crowd. Phew! I thought we'd never get here. Stupid bus crash. <laughs> all my life I've imagined what this place would look like. This is an it. Hi there. Am I too late to audition? Not too late, dear. Just too much. <laughs> Tracy, look. It's Link. Link Larkin. So near and yet so gorgeous. I know, I know. Those girls are all over me. I don't know how Rock Hudson stands it. Excuse me, little darling. Hope I didn't stand to you. I hang the bells. Tracy, are you all right? Well, don't you hear them chime? I don't hear anything. Can't you feel my heartbeat keeping perfect time and all because he touched me? He looked at me and stared as yes, he bumped me. My heart was unprepared when he tapped me and knocked me off my feet. One little touch, now my life's complete, cause when he nudged me, he put me in a six. Yes, it hit me, just like a ton of bricks. He yes, my heart burst, now I know what life's about. One little touch, and I'll knock me out, and I Round five, oh, and look the wedding fair. 
that too cool? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just a little nervous. I'm sure you all calm down. Right after I have a heart attack! <laughs> well, I'm already on 45, so if you put them on, I'll show you my stuff. I think you already showed them enough. Oh, not time to change. These girls are the blood or completely deranged. A time seemed to halt when I was Miss Fulton for Brown. Oh, to dance on the show. Well, maybe you ought to go back to school. Yeah, you really got it going on. Me? 
this program joining you already in progress. Hey, I just realized who you are. You dance on Negro Day. Of course you guys are mom wants to show. Your mom is more than made by the DJ. That makes you like royalty. Negro Day is the best sandwich every day is Negro Day. At our house it is. <laughs> but Gordy Collins told me the sophomore hop mom that if you saw me dancing like this, and you maybe he put me on the show. Oh, yo, yo, yo. Two more dancing together like that in public? Oh, I'm gonna show you two get on his 11th partner. So how are you feeling about the tension now? I'm a bad, bad girl who needs to be punished. Oh, uh, smiling, laughing, dancing in detention. Tracy Turnblad, you could give up all hopes of college. I'm putting you in remedial education with the rest of these characters. No college? Where do you go after remedial ed? Congress! <laughs>
at midnight brought to us by our brand new council member, Tracy Turnblad. Look, Tracy, live in our own living room. I think I've seen her here before. And she's going to be a regular. Imagine, my little girl regular at last. Hi, Tracy. It's me, Penny. You know, she can't hear you. Hello? Yes, this is her childhood home. No, I'm not her father. <laughs> so let's wave a wistful bye-bye to Brenda. See you next year. Go on, get. <laughs> and inaugurate the newest member of our council, Miss Tracy Turnblad, cozy up to old Corny, and tell us about yourself, Turn. Race? Well, I go to Patterson Park High. I watch a show, and I do absolutely nothing else! But someday, I hope to be the first woman president of the world. Or a rocket. You gotta dream big to be big! And, uh, if you were president, what would your first official act be? I read every day Negro Day! Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> you know, I read you like tomorrow's headlines, Trace. What do you say, kids? Looks like we got ourselves a hot new candidate for Miss Teenage Hairspray, huh? No! She can't be Miss Hairspray. She's the before in the Metrical diet, Ad and I'm the after. And afters always win. Amber, what a comedian. <laughs> so, Tracy, tell us true. How would you like our very own Blake Larkin to sing a special song just for you, huh? No! He can't, because everyone knows that whenever he sings, he sings to me. He's completely involved with me, see? Right. So, Tracy, tell us true. How would you like Link Larkin to sing a special song just for you? Would I? Would I? You people are ignoring the laws of nature! Link Larkin, our own budding Ellis, will now sing to the equally blooming Tracy Turnblad his version of this week's Top 40 hit, It Takes Two. So
tussle. Negro day every day. Oh, that chubby communist girl and kissing on the mouth with possibly parted lips. I'll have you know controversy is not what Ultra Clutch wishes to promote. Negroes and chubby girls buy hairspray too, Mr. Spritzer. Miss Von Tussle, how do you plan to handle this? I plan to start by firing him. <laughs> you can't fire Corny Collins from the Corny Collins show. Why not? They do it all the time on Lassie. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Spritzer, to keep your audience, you gotta keep up with the times. It's just fine the way it is. You know what? Bringing Tracy on is just the beginning. I've got fantastic new ideas no, for updating the show. I'm getting one of my sick headaches again. Is there a place I might lay down? There's a bed in my office! So you've got ideas, do you? I'm putting this no-talent commie on the show as one of them? Damn right, Velma. It's time we put kids on the show who look like kids who watch the show. Not while I'm producing it. Well, you know, I was thinking it was time we changed that, too. Are you threatening me, Collins? <laughs> oh, no, you know me, Velma. Then again, I could always take the show to Channel 11. Mother, put that thing down. 
I'm taking my ink into the hefty hideaway and then out on the town. Who? Me? Tracy turned that famous onto your head and left you wacky. You need a top shelf professional. Who handled the Gabor sisters? Well, who didn't? <laughs> Mother, there's a great big world out there that I know nothing about. When times get rough, a girl needs her mother. Hun, I'll be right beside you if that's what you want. And together we'll claw your way to the top. But can't we do it over the phone? I haven't been out of this apartment since Baby Eisenhower rolled her hoax and bobbed her bangs. Hey, Mama, hey, Mama, look around. Everybody's moving to a brand new cell. Hey, Mama, hey, Mama, follow me. I know something that's one step. So I go, go about the past now.
be? Isn't it the dreamiest? It's called the Tracy. Everyone knows anyone has one.
not a lot of people do. Pizza! 
I'm sorry, Tracy, but no one mentioned anything about me appearing on national television. I'm sorry, but I simply cannot appear on television at my current weight. You can't let weight restrict your fate. Look at me, I'm on TV. Mm -hmm. Well, but Miss Motormouth, you're a celebrity. Well, I'm a simple housewife of indeterminate girth. The bigger the girth, the more you're worth. Mr. Turnblad, you don't mind that the missus here is an ample American, do you? Not at all. I think of my brand real estate. <laughs> nice and roomy. You listen to me. Walked to find the time, girl, I was just like you. Never let my extra large just shine through. Hair was brown and nappy, never had no fun. I hit a durable show, which is easier said than done. Then one day my grandma, who was big and stout, she said you gotta love yourself from inside out. And just as soon as I learned to scrub my funky stuff, I found out that the world I love can't fit enough. So
disappointment. Is there anybody here who can dry clean my blouse? It's the maid's day off. In the big dollhouse. Lady Justice, where have you gone? Oh, we'll be back. I think I left the iron on. Oh, I didn't see Gordy laughing. I could murder that blouse. In the big dollhouse. In the big dollhouse. In the big dollhouse.
Mrs. Von Tussle, manipulating the judicial system just to win a contest is un-American. Don't make things worse for yourself. Move out peacefully. I'm not living here without my daughter! It's okay, Daddy. They can't keep me here forever. Besides, I've got a lot to think about. I might as well do it in solitary confinement. I'm counting to three, and then I'm rearresting you off for illegal trespass. Let's go. We can't do Tracy any good here. Touch one hair on my little girl's head, and I'll teach you a whole new meaning for squid heads! <laughs> Keep the faith, baby. They haven't heard the last from us. You're so lucky to get out of the algebra final. <laughs> Reshaping the world. And what am I? 
I had a dream too, you know. I used to make all my own clothes, remember? Until one day I wandered beyond the boundaries of the largest McCall pattern. I always dreamed that one day I would put out my own line of queen-sized dress patterns. Oh, you were good at that. Yeah, and where's it gotten me? Twenty years later, I'm still washing and ironing and mending everyone else's clothes. One day at that! Well, Dave Wilbur, my time has come and gone like a half-filled book of green stamps beyond redemption. Oh, Wilbur. I suddenly feel so old. Nonsense, doll! Your spine is slinking! Whenever I'm near you, it's like grabbing hold of a giant joint muscle! Stunts keep a changing, the world's rearranging. I am not yet timeless to me. And lines are shorter, a mere across the border, but time cannot take what comes free. You're like a stinky old cheese, baby. Just getting riper with age. You're like a fatal disease, babe. What? But there's no cure, so let this fever age. Some folks can't stand it. They say time's a bandit. But I take the opposite view. Cause when I need a lift, time brings a gift. Another
Link, over here! Shh, the guy's asleep! Gee, you look beautiful behind bars. <laughs> it must be the low-watt institutional lighting. Link, what are you doing here? Oh, Tracy, seeing you dragged off to jail like that, it brought me back to my senses. I thought I'd lose it when I thought I'd lost you. I couldn't eat, I couldn't sing, I couldn't even concentrate. You couldn't eat? No. So I went down to the station to tell Mrs. Von Tussle I was through with the Miss Hairspray broadcast. You did? I did. You see, when I got to the station, I overheard Mrs. Von Tussle talking to Spritzer. Tracy, it was Amber the talent scouts were coming to see you. It had nothing to do with me. All this time, I thought Amber and I were a team. But her and her mom were just using me to make her look popular. I feel like such an idiot. That makes two of us. I know, apologies. I know a palooka like me isn't worthy of a groundbreaking extremist like you, but it's a little scuff from Amber throwing it in my face when I told her I'd rather be with you. You did? I did. So would you consider wearing my ring? Would I? Would I? To lose thee were to lose myself. Some kid named Milton wrote that in the third floor voice room. It's beautiful. And I have a good life. Three parents, my own room, stacks of forty-fives, three sweaters, and a learner's permit that's good through August. You know what I've been missing? Thank you. Oh, Trace, they can keep us from kissing, but they can't stop us from singing. Once I was a selfish fool who never understood. Never looked inside myself, though on the outside I looked good. Then we met and you made me the man I am today. Tracy, I'm not with you no matter what you wait us without love. Life is like the seasons with no summer without love. Life's like rock and roll without a drummer. Tracy, I'll be yours forever cause I never want to be without love.
Mrs. Montessel said there'll be armed guards at the Eventorium. With arms? <laughs> Someone could get shot. And for what? Just so we could dance on some old fay show? Hold it. Nobody said this is going to be easy. If something's worth having, it's worth fighting for. Tracy, why did you start all this in the first place? Was it just to dance on TV? No. Was it so you could get the boy? No, I almost hey. lost him because of it. Then maybe it was just to get yourself famous. No! I just think it's stupid that we can't all dance together on TV. So you tried once and you failed. We can't get lazy when things get crazy. Children, you weren't the first to try, and you won't be the last. But I'm here to tell you that I'm going to keep lining up to someday somebody breaks through. And I've been looking at that door a whole lot longer. What door? The front door.
with no pan at your side, and your feet will be gone with the wind. But if you spray it and fuck it, you can take a mirror rocket, and then out of space, each hair will be in place. Why take a chance? You can get up and dance in the twist. I insist you use hairspray, and tell your mother her hair she should smother with Ultra Clutch Faith for me. So if you're a redhead upon the brunette, just take my advice, and you might just get to the only thing better than hairspray. Well, that's me. Forget the milkman, the only thing better than hairspray. Avalanche. 
Jedi. Comes with company offices, a car, and a multi-figured salary. I don't know what to say. Velma Von Tussle, you are the new president of Ultra Glow, beauty products for women of color. <laughs> For you two, America wants to hear you sing our new theme song. I think I can get you a recording contract. My big break! <laughs> Give me back my daughter. I know you have her. I saw it on TV. Penny, I... I didn't recognize you all done up like that. I'm a pretty girl, Mama. And you look so happy. Well, I can't say it's what I want, but if this fine-looking cat-like black boy <laughs> is responsible for that light in your eyes, well, how could I object?
I've been trying to do it right I've been living a lonely life I've been sleeping here instead I've been sleeping in my bed Sleeping in my bed So show me family All the blood that I will bleed I don't know where I belong I don't know where I went wrong But I can write a song I belong with you You belong with me in my sweet heart I belong with you You belong with me in my sweet heart Yo, I'm telling you right now, put this on the slideshow, whatever it is, yeah, put my pants on, what's good with your boy? Anyway, yo, um, yo, oh, I got him. <laughs> this is a musical! We need to warm up our voices, everybody out now! Can we do it after? Why? Because it's gonna be loud. Why is she loud? Y yes, she's very loud. She's a very loud person. She's super loud. She's one of the loudest people I know. <laughs> I already got a video where she can have a Away. We're not doing this no more. That's it. We're done. No Wait, more shows. No more shows. Room. <laughs> no. So, like, Amber, come on, please. We need to look at the audience more. Stop looking at Birdine. Look at the audience. Look at the audience. Please, just look at me. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. Just look at the audience. But you did a great job. You did a great job. <laughs> Working too hard. This, I gotta work too hard to get what I need from you. Stop playing your daddy guitar! I can't focus with that. Stop! Stop! <laughs> what is this? I feel a filth in my bones Wash off my hands till it's gone The walls they're closing in With velvet curtains
Some love was made for the lights Some kiss your cheek and good night Lift up a red high heel Lock up your doors with steel They're making noise in my street My blinds are drawn, I can't see Smashed in my car window Didn't touch the stereo Slow it down And you come back to bed Rest your arms And rest your legs Scarf real tight These boys are out for blood